installing red light cameras. Welcome back to Good News Next Week, everybody. I'm James Evan Pilato for MediaMonarchy.com, coming to you from hot new Hexaco. We got that pumping the brakes cover story, plus dumping the fluoride, too. But first, your first story on your long-awaited return of Good News Next Week. New Hampshire abolishes the death penalty as lawmakers override governor's veto. New Hampshire, now the 21st state in America to have abolished capital punishment after its legislator voted, legislature voted to override a veto by Republican Governor Chris Sununu. That name, Sununu, sounds familiar from some of the Congress critters of years gone by. Multi-generational serial killers, of course. After a years-long effort to repeal the state's death penalty, the state Senate voted 16 to 8 to finally make it official. Calling capital punishment archaic, costly, discriminatory, and violent, Democratic State Senator Melanie Levesque said the time has come to end it. And I think that's a great way to return for your long-awaited good news next week, because what's better good news than not being killed by the state? Our second story on this Good News Next Week, episode 78, as maybe all three of our main stories are this week related to places here in the States, as it pleases the crown. Alabama City can remove fluoride from drinking water, maybe a Marshall County, Alabama water system, at least for now, can stop fluoridating its water over concerns that the long-held practice isn't healthy. The Alabama Supreme Court has ruled the city of Arab, Arab Alabama, which is two of the stranger words you will ever see put together. The city of Arab's water system in August 2015 stopped fluoridating its water after reviewing studies that the practice was indeed unhealthy. A few months later, the Arab City Council ordered the system to start refluoridation. So there's basically this back and forth battle as we've talked about recently on your New World Next Week. Places don't like to really respect the verdict of people. They like to let you go through the charade of voting, but when you don't vote the way they want, they'll just turn around and try and do the same thing. You might recall we had, I think, stunning success in Portland several years ago to keep fluoride out of the water system. It's one of the only big cities in America that does not have fluoride. And what did the city council a few months later do? Go, uh, we think we might try and slip it past it and do it anyway. As far as I know, they haven't done it yet. And what happened? We moved down here to Holy Faith, New Hexaco, where they indeed do add fluoride to the water, which meant we had to buy the fluoride expansion filters for our decade-long Berkey that we've had. A couple of other related kind of health stories under this. Uh, real, real, again, you know, shocker. Study confirms cannabis oil can reduce or eliminate epileptic seizures in kids. I think I briefly mentioned this on your recent Morning Monarchy. And do you think organic gardening is rocket science? Think again. Our buddy Justin made a video to explain the basics. J. Harvey Lewis on the tweets. You might know him as our buddy behind Nature Hub. It is a simple video. And he started to make a couple of those. So again, a huge thanks to all our friends who aren't hating the media, they're becoming the media and doing it in the way that they best know how. You gotta stay in your wheelhouse. Mine, mine is media. That's why we call it the monarchy. Finally, our cover story here on episode 78 of Good News Next Week. Texas is the latest state to pump the brakes on red light cameras with the signing of a bill. Go -go Governor Greg Abbott, Go -Governor. Governor Greg Abbott made Texas the latest state to ban red light traffic cameras. It joins at least seven other states, Maine, Mississippi, Montana, New Hampshire, South Carolina, South Dakota, and West by God, Virginia, that have already got statues passed prohibiting red light cameras. National Conference of State Legislatures said around 20 more do not have automated traffic enforcement systems on public roads. You can check out the map. What do we have here in New Hexaco? Indeed, we do have speed cameras, but not red light cameras. Each state is responsible for prioritizing what devices go on their roadways, the Federal Highway Administration said in an emailed statement. The Texas ban takes effect on September 1st, but it allows communities more time, if needed, to complete their contracts with the private, usually military, companies that operate the cameras and get a flat fee or share of revenue from the tickets. Other automotive awesomeness related to our cover story, pumping the brakes on red light cameras. BC woman, that's British Columbia woman, wins a court challenge over a forced breathalyzer test forced on her hours after she had been driving. Meanwhile, as you might think, kind of related to that story, police can't just arrest someone for swearing at them. 
The Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld a U.S. District Court decision that refused to throw out a civil lawsuit against an Arkansas police officer who arrested a man who yelled a curse word at the officer as he conducted a traffic stop on another civilian. It actually says citizen, but you get the idea. Police can't just arrest someone for swearing at them. And again, this is not something I would recommend you try out in your hometown. Hashtag thin blue line. Last one pretty much would always kind of make you feel good. I remember one of my neighbors back in Portland had his bicycle stolen and he pretty much pulled a sting, found the guy, it was on Craigslist and busted him with the cops. It was like, yeah. This situation didn't even require the cops because they didn't do anything. Woman does her own detective work to get stolen forerunner back. A pretty interesting story that shows if you follow the links. And again, everything we say and play always included down in your show notes. If you look at all the comments on the YouTube video related to this story, not a lot of positive things said about the police force. It's almost like the idea that people think we don't need them anymore at all. Those are your stories here on the long-awaited return of your good news next week. As I like to remind you, as always, I stream news, music, memes, and more Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 Mountain Time. Would love to see you come hang out with us and also support our work. Been making Media Monarchy for nearly 14 years. You've never heard an ad. You've never heard a snake oil pitch. And I like it that way. We'd love your support at MediaMonarchy.com slash join. There it is. Good news next week, episode 78. I am indeed James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. Always like to remind you, like Jello Biafra says, don't hate the media, become the media. Take care. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.